Welcome to QueenOn7.com. Uh, today we're going to learn about the acetatification. In the previous video, I have actually explained how we can uh, use the carboxylic acid for, for uh, different reactions. Uh, esters can be actually made by the reaction of the carboxylic acid with alcohol, which will undergo condensation and produce ester uh, along with the uh, water. You have actually done that in GCSC when you, when you have looked at the condensation polymerization. Now, uh, when you look at this uh, uh, these, uh, the example of acetatification, you look at the carboxylic acid, which is actually CWOH group, and then you have alcohol, which is actually OH group, and they will undergo the acetatification. Now, the general concept about the carboxylic acid is acids are the species which release the proton in the solution. Now, in case of the uh, acetatification, uh, Carboxylic acid will lose actually OH ion instead of H positive ion, and so this is uh, going to be like that. Only H proton will be released by the alcohol in this case, and the bond will be made between the carbonyl carbon of carboxylic acid and the oxygen of the alcohol and that will be the ester linkage. So whenever you see C double bond O, single bond O, that is an ester linkage. Now, uh, another thing we can actually look at, we can actually make an ester by reacting it uh, with acid anh anhydride. Now, when we look at the example of the acid anhydride. So this is the example of uh, acid anhydride. When you're going to react it with an alcohol as it is, you will get an asters, obviously. So if you break the bond from there, you will get CH3, C double bond, O, CH3. So you will get one. But you will also get one of the carboxylic acid as well. So you will get CH3, C double bond, O, bond, OH. So a carboxylic acid will be produced as well when acid and a hydride reacts with the alcohol. Now, here I would like to mention, rather using carboxylic acid, if you use acid and a hydride, they are actually more reactive as compared to the carboxylic acid. So they will give you the higher yield. All these esterification will be happening under the acidic condition. So you need a strong acid, which can actually provide you the proton in it. Now, look at the hydrolysis. I always say, whenever you have a derivative of carboxylic acid, the carboxylic acid derivatives can be acyl chloride, it can be uh, an ester or amide linkage. Whenever you, they undergo, the, uh, undergo hydrolysis, they always produce uh, the parent carboxylic acid. Let's take an example of the uh, 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 hydrolysis of one of the esters. So if I take an example of the very simplest ester, and I do hydrolysis under acidic condition. Obviously, there are two types of hydrolysis you can, you can do, either under, under the uh, acidic condition or under the alkaline condition. Now, when you look at it, uh, if you see that, the bond will be broken from there. If you break the bond from there, uh, you will get CH3, C double bond O, bond OH. See, you have actually reproduced the parent carboxylic acid. On the other hand, you will produce the alcohol as it is. So the alcohol will be produced as well. Now, if you do not know how to name them, I'm just going to quickly uh, tell you how to do that. Now, this group will be written as the first, as a side chain, or you can say uh, we will write the name of the carbon chain after the uh, oxygen, after the carbonyl. So methyl. And then you count how many carbon atoms are there, which includes the carbonyl carbon. So this is methyl, and then you have ethane. Because it's an actually C double O bond, bonds or oxygen, it will be end with ethanoate. So ethane, ethanoate, so methyl ethanoate uh, will be the name of this ester. These esters can be used actually make perfume and flavoring in industry, so they have a very uh, big importance in eco economical wise. So you will reproduce the carboxylic acid and the alcohol. So hydrolysis is actually the reverse of uh, esterification in that sense. Now, if you are trying to do, some of the A-level students probably look at these sort of organic synthesis when they actually do the organic synthesis under the uh, uh, acidic condition or alkaline condition, uh, they have to predict what is the product and they always leave an empty box there. Now, if I put it as it is, the same 
ester I use again. And I will do the hydrolysis, which is obviously water. And I heat it up. You need to heat it up as well. And this time I am going to use sodium hydroxide H positive ion. They're not, normally they're not going to actually give you the name of the sodium, but it's fine. As long as they give you uh, some sort of alkali, you can predict the, so, the structure of the products. Now, look at the, one of the common, uh, whether it is an acetic uh, hydrolysis or alkaline hydrolysis, you will get uh, the alcohol in both cases. So that's actually uh, a common product in both of them. And then you will look at this product, which was supposed to make um, uh, a carboxylic acid. It will produce a salt, an ionic salt of a carboxylate ion, sodium ethanoate ath ion will be produced uh, instead of uh, having a carboxylic acid because there is no hydrogen there which was present before in the acidic condition which has actually attached with the uh, CWO bond to protonate it. Now this time you do not have it so you will actually get the uh, sodium ethanoate ion. Uh, thank you very much.